that were really trying to push for, for the Olympics, especially in December, they voted not to include it in the Paris Olympics. So we're hoping that it really pushes for the Olympics following that. This is a new and exciting event, and it's something new to the sport of artistic swimming. So I hope you enjoy, and I know you'll enjoy. Our first athletes are from Spain, and it's Maria Bofostrobe and Dennis Gonzalez. Yeah, Bill, I, I have to say it was quite a disappointment when mixed duets didn't get voted into the Olympics. But we're not going to quit. We're not stopping we never now. Stop fighting. No, we have never. to spread the word. We have to get more men involved. Look Beautiful lift. lift. Wow. Look at the power and the dynamic that mixed duets bring to our sport. Exactly. And they're not trying to replace female duets. It's a completely different element. It should be judged differently. You know, swam differently. The men and women are complementing each other because they will never look exactly the same. And you can see they're doing an amazing job. Yes, and Dennis particularly with a lot of energy and passion. Yes, and, and particularly with really the free with the free program, they have a lot of flexibility to be like pair figure skaters or ballroom dancers and kind of play off on each other and work on those connections that you and Christina Lum did such a great job of creating back in 98 even. Yeah, a couple years ago. <laughs> so this duet is pretty new on the stage, but you can see that they're very talented and they have a lot to offer. It's worth mentioning that FINA has been so supportive of the Mixed Duet event. They included it into the World Championships in 2015. Unfortunately, the IOC just didn't even vote on this event. Again, we're optimistic. Our message yeah, to our Spain. artistic swimming community is that we need to spread the word. Try to get as many boys and men involved in the sport as possible. We need representation. Yeah, what were Spain you going to say, Bill? at the forefront of encouraging men to join. They've had a lot of clinics. They've had a lot of camps where they invite men to try artistic swimming. These two have been swimming together for three years, and you can really see that rapport between the two of them. And they are just nonstop, very sharp, a lot of energy, really showcasing that mixed duet. They've only been training this program for one month. And if you're not familiar with artistic swimming, sometimes people will swim the same routine for years. So to see them pull this off with so much power and cleanliness to their movements, that's impressive. Very fast, tight legs, off angle. A showcase wow. of flexibility at the end. Great job. So much energy from start to finish. I'm really impressed with Denise. And they have, even though it's different than the tech, there's more freedom within the mixed duet. And that's what we need, especially right now when we're really trying to encourage more mixed duets and more men into the sport. Including men, it, it brings a whole different level to our sport, and in my opinion, our sport will not be complete until men are allowed to compete in the Olympics, which I believe with all my heart will happen one day. Definitely. These two actually competed in the, in the Youth World Championships in 2019. But it's crazy to think that people haven't competed in two years. So their score is 77.90. That's a really great score for a great swim.